So Nick asks, I'd be interested if you guys tackled maybe Nintendo games you wished you hadn't played or thought were overrated, uh, because we all know you guys are fans of Nintendo, and I think it would be an interesting talking point. Nintendo games I wish I hadn't played. Captain Toad. <laughs> no, um, hmm. I wish I hadn't question. bought all the Kirby games on Wii Virtual Console. Oh, on the Virtual Console. Why is that? Because I haven't finished any of them. Oh. Um, and, it, it, and it's not to say that Kirby games are bad. It's just like I have a very specific appetite these days, and so they're not the kinds of games that I really yeah. feel like I'm getting the, the right value for the time I'm putting into them. And, and yeah. the money I'm putting into them, obviously. Um, so... So, I, I do wish I hadn't tried to kind of dip so much into Kirby's history when I really have only played and liked a couple of his games anyway. Oh, I've got one. Um, I was super disappointed with Kid Icarus Uprising. Really? I, yeah, I only played like five levels into it and just couldn't get into it and ended up taking it back to GameStop. Oh, I wish I hadn't played those 25 minutes of my life. I know, right? It's ruined um, my day. I... There are not really any big Nintendo games that stand out to me as, you know, not deserving of their legacies. So, this is probably going to be a disappointing answer for you. But I wish I had not played Mario Party 10. <laughs> because that just makes me so, so sad to see how boring those games are now. It's like, Mario Party, I feel like, is not that hard to do right. And somehow, they just keep messing it up. It's no, it has a lot to do with that whole trying to be different thing. Well, I, I think. It's I, it's stale. It's not different. It's like, but it, it is different. Well, it's and different that, and, in and, exclusively bad ways, though. Right. <laughs> if you were excited about the differences, it might not feel so stale. Right, right. But, but as it is, they just grab old, from old content. Uh, mm -hmm. In particular, they've been grabbing from New Super Mario Brothers for like every spin off, it feels like. Yeah. Um, and that just, that just doesn't really That's carry. a good... I wish I hadn't played New Super Mario Bros. 2 or Super Mario 3D Land. Oh, really? Maybe not so much Super Mario like, 3D Land. Yeah, but... I like 3D Land already, but I, I knew what I was getting when I bought Super Mario yeah. Bros. 2. I knew yeah. exactly what I was getting. And it was it was a solid game, yeah. but it, it just didn't really It wasn't worth the time new. to me. I could have been doing something more, more interesting. More coins. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, New Super Mario Bros. 2, I, enjoy, I actually kind of enjoyed Coin Rush. But I, that's not a game I'll ever probably be able to play through again. Uh, the, the, the one player story there. Yeah. It's it's just too easy, too bland. Um, I've criticized it, and maybe not on this podcast, but I've criticized Nintendo a lot for throwing too many coins at you already because it makes the whole dying thing really insignificant and pointless. And Mario is this game that descended from the arcades. Like, it needs to have the, the lives and, and the stakes, and, and it needs to be challenging to get a high score, and that's just not what I got out of New Super Mario Bros. 2, outside of Coin Rush. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you for listening to this Nintendo Week Clip NWC. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to us here on YouTube for more highlights and discussion videos from Nintendo Week Podcast, or subscribe to us on iTunes for weekly breakdowns of all your Nintendo news, discussion segments on subjects, games, and more, and tons of other features. Thanks for listening, and we will see you tomorrow with another NWC.